What's up? My name is Logan Barnhart. I'm uh, doing classic physique for the first time this year at the Central States in a week. Um, I'm currently about 190 uh, at 5'9". Um, I've got to hit 185 for showtime. Um, I think I'll be able to hit it. Might have to cut a little bit of water, but I should be able to hit it pretty good. Okay. And uh, what's the last show you did, bud? For um, what was the last? last show I did was Nationals. Uh, it didn't go very good for me. I was telling you earlier, I got pretty sick beforehand. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty bad. It didn't do me any good. But to be honest, when I did Nationals, I'd almost kind of checked out anyway. You know, I've done, I did so many physique shows, so many national shows. Literally, I've done every national show except Masters Nationals. And I'm eligible to do that now. So you never know, maybe I'll hit that next year. <laughs> but I was just really burnt out. You know, I mean, I kind of had lost the drive, but the new division really pumped me up. And I had known about it pretty much the whole year. Rich Gaspari had known about it, and he had, had told me that they were in talks about it. And, you know, I, so I started practicing poses and things that I really like, things that make my physique look the best, you know. I think the thing with my physique is it's not best shown in regular physique poses. You know what I mean? Some guys do physique poses, and they look incredible, but they throw a front double by and – they don't, you know, look that great. Everybody's a little different. Me personally, I've always been told I look too much like a bodybuilder, you know, ever since I started doing this. And so now I've got the opportunity to, you know, look a little bit more like a bodybuilder, you know, so I really enjoy it. Like I've really been hitting things that I never hit, well, that I gave up hitting when I was trying to make the perfect physique, you know, um, like traps, my low lats, I was trying to, you know, I really went easy on anything that made my waist a little bit thicker. Now I don't care, you know, I hit abs more, I hit lower back a lot more. Things that I always, you know, used to go easy on so I wouldn't thicken up, but so it's kind of, yeah. Well, you see some of the guys going, pro, you know, some of the top pros, they have this, like, they have waist that just, you know, no, I mean, it's got to be genetics. There's nothing you can do that's going to give you that kind of waist, you know, and then their waist is already small, and then they get their shoulders and lats so wide, they have, in, like, these, you know, V-tapers that you just can never get. But at least with classic bodybuilding, you got to have, you know, well-rounded physique. I mean, you got to have good low lats, you know, obliques, everything, you know. I mean, if that's, I'm assuming that's how they're going to be judging, you know, you know, more of a rounded... You know, like, for instance, I think symmetry is going to come into more into play a little more because, you know, front double by, back double by, those kind of things. When you do the, the ab and thigh shot, you know, how symmetrical are your abs? You know, do they look like a sack of potatoes where there's abs all over the place? Or are they nice and symmetrical, you know, and those kind of things. I think you can get away with not having in regular physique, you know. And so, yeah, I think uh, you can hide flaws a little more and that division you know which isn't necessarily a bad thing but i think there's a lot of physique guys that are going to graduate to classic in my opinion there should be at least i mean there's some guys that are going you know top pros in physique that i'd love to see doing classic why not start throwing some poses it's fun you know like the one thing i've i, I don't think i could ever go back to doing regular physique because throw, posing is fun i mean especially when you can choose your own routine and things that you know your physique looks best at you know i mean some people might you know not look good in a certain way so they don't hit it so now i can throw classic shots i can do all these things that really highlight the positives in my physique you know what i'm saying so it's i think it's a little bit there's just more to it it's fun yeah. you know i can't wait to get up there and do it is it um as of now is it how you thought it would be like who's been winning and how it been well no to be honest i mean Eh, well, see, originally I was going to take the whole year off, but it's hard, you know, I just kind of got the itch so bad that I figured I'd do it. And I had to qualify so I can do nationals, and I'll probably do nationals this year. And like I said before, if not, then I'm going to do, or if it turns out, I'll do um, master's nationals, you know, next year. But to be honest with you, no, I mean, there was a couple, there was a couple guys that I thought should have gone pro that didn't go pro. You know, there was a couple of the guys that took first I just didn't, you know, agree with, but they still looked awesome. Um, I haven't seen a lot of really good classic poses thrown. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. But, like, there's a lot of times where they'll say, oh, you know, you get your one classic pose, and it's just kind of like a front double by with, your, you know, open hand a little higher, or, you know, just your basic stuff. Like, I, you know, I, I might go down to a knee. I don't think I've seen anybody do that. I mean, why not? It's classic pose. I just thought I'd see a little bit more, 
you know, 70s era type posing thrown back at it. And it doesn't, I mean, there's some out there. And I think those guys look the best personally. But there's a lot of guys that, yeah, it's classic. And they'll say, hey, throw your f- favorite classic shot. And it's like a, you know, just something normal. Yeah, throw something sweet, man. Throw something that you don't ever see, you know, that the bodybuilders aren't throwing or something. But, you know, um, yeah, as far as there, I didn't really agree with the Olympia placings. You know, I thought there was a couple guys that should have been moved around a little bit, um, you know. Uh, but that's why I figured the first year is going to be a lot of figuring things out. You know, what I mean, it's and I don't think everyone knows what, exactly what they want. It wouldn't surprise me if they changed the weight limits a little bit, too. And I personally think they should be a little higher. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, for instance, for me, my height is and weight is Frank Zane's, like, weight. And so that's cool because he's definitely, like, one of the best classic physique guys out there. But he was also, like, the smallest of the classics. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so why not, you know, I mean, I think later in his year years, he was almost 200, I think, wasn't he? Yeah, window. yeah like, I mean, I think if they added 10 pounds to every inch, you know, they got it for every inch, that'd be perfect. The f- five or five, yeah. So like at my height limit, I gotta be 185 for this, and if I was a pro, I could be 190. You know, but but you know, I just think, like I said, I think it should be, I think they're 10 pounds off personally for my liking. You know. Well, and who knows if he's as adjusted like 202. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and I, it wouldn't surprise me if they adjusted a little bit. You know, I mean, I'd like to see a little bit more size on some of the guys. You know, but I, I, t- I gotta say, some of the pros though looked so full. You know, there's a couple of them that just whatever they did, they did it right because they looked. I, I was surprised they even made weight. They looked so good, you know, and so big. So, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Um, tell us about your workout today, buddy. What you did? Um. Okay. Well, you know, basically because it was a weight limit, you know, that I had to hit. That was, you know, I I back in 2014, I was about 185 stage weight, you know, but I wasn't as lean because I was doing your regular physique. But anyway, um, so basically, I knew I wanted to bring. I had to bring my legs up. And I had to not bring my upper body up much. So basically, for the last year, you know, I've just been hitting legs hard. And I've been hitting upper body, but I do like two two days upper body. So one day, which is what I did today, I did chest, shoulders, and biceps. And then my next upper body day will be back, and I'll hit shoulders as well, and triceps. And um, But I haven't, like I told you earlier, I... I couldn't tell you anywhere close to what I max out at and anything upper body I haven't been coming close to doing that I've been doing all high rep you know I'll hit it hard but it's all high rep stuff um I haven't been really hitting it to grow massive you know whereas my legs what I've been doing is training one really heavy day you know all compound exercises and then another day of the week doing all isolation movements for the legs but I've been hitting legs pretty good twice a week for almost you know a year now so that's basically what I've been doing today I did chest shoulders and biceps um I just kind of bounced around you know to be honest with you I don't even have I just sort of wing it every time I come in I'll come in I'll do whatever I feel like I got to do do I have like today I felt like hitting a little bit more upper chest than I normally do so I did you know I I started with like it's like a shoulder press machine but I always kind of angle myself a little bit and just do like a, it's like a front press, you know, and just hitting the upper chest and delts. And then I superset it with some biceps, um, you know, just getting warmed up. And I think I did some flies with some shoulders, you know, and, um, but like I said, it's all by feel. I don't have a set plan coming in. Yeah, I don't even have a set weight. I throw it around every different, you know, sometimes I'll go a little heavier, a little less reps, sometimes, you know, it's just all over the place, whatever I'm feeling. And that's kind of what I did today. I just, Really, I had no plan. Just came in, bounced around, made sure I stuck to, you know, my chest, shoulders, and so like, when I do, next time I do upper body, I'll hit rear delts while I'm hitting back, and uh, some triceps. You know what I mean? But um, my arms, I was careful not to go crazy with my arms because they'll grow faster than anything else. I'm trying to keep everything, you know, to a certain ratio, the best I can. Um, so yeah, and then I've been hitting calves every day. At least a little bit. I mean, even if it's just something small, you know, I don't destroy them, but I hit them pretty good. Uh, abs, I didn't really even train at all until just about five weeks out, started hitting them, but I hit them pretty hard now. Um, but yeah, I, well, so since I've been back working construction, um, 
it's really changed up the way I train and, and changed up that I haven't been doing any cardio until just recently um, because I did, had absolutely no need for it. I uh, basically was, I'm, I'm working, I'm laboring, you know, and so, I mean, during the summertime, especially, which is the majority of my prep, it was really hot out. I was just dying, you know, and, uh, and so I just would go right to the gym, start lifting. I didn't do any cardio. And then I was even eating pretty freely, which was awesome. I really thought with all the labor, it would be just a nightmare um, prepping for a show. And it is very hard because there's a lot of days after work, I just want to go home. I'm so tired, but I just make sure I get there. Where there's a will, there's a way. You know, you think I can't do it, but you get there, you get kind of amped up, put your music on, and I just get through it. Um, but like I said, I burned so many calories throughout the day. I mean, up until about five weeks, I was having donuts literally every day. Um, and I noticed when I added the donuts in, I started leaning out faster. So even though I was taking in what I thought was a lot of calories, I think I was still in too much of a caloric deficit, so much so that I was, you know, shutting my metabolism down because I just, I wasn't leaning out as fast as I thought I should be. And then I'm not kidding you. I started having donuts because I just, I could tell, you know, I needed it. And I started eating donuts and every day that I ate donuts the next morning, I looked better and better, and better and better and better and better. And so I was like, you know, hell, I'm just going to stick to that. You know, I mean, it was pretty nice. It kept my cravings away. I never woke up in the middle of the night hungry ever. And then, uh, and, but what I was doing was that was the only time I'd have carbs until after I trained after a whole day of work. And I was having the, the donuts first thing in the morning. So, you know, I mean, I was working all day having just protein and fats, you know, burning all that up, you know, burn up all my glycogen, getting to the gym, hitting the gym hard, then having white potato when I was done. No. Oh, no. Yeah, there was a couple days where it was wet and muddy and I was slipping around the job site and I was, it just drains you that it, where I didn't expect to have donuts or something. I was like, I don't care. But it's like I'm, I've gotten really good just listening to my body. Like I knew I could have these donuts and they ain't going to even phase me. If anything, it's probably going to help me because I can't even get through the day right now, you know. But it has been sort of a wing it process because the thing is, is just like, for instance, this week on Thursday and Friday, I got rained off work, right? I prepped all my food the night before. And it's a lot of calories because, like I said, I've been working my butt off, and then all of a sudden I don't have work. So now what do I do? Do I eat the same amount of calories? Do I cut it all down? Do I reduce the fat? What do I do, you know? And so it's just been – and I will. I'll, I'll kind of – I'll cut out a meal, you know, or, and I always just – you know, if I feel hungry, I'll eat. But it's been actually a fantastic prep.